How's it going? This is Jason with 4-Minute Tech Review, and today we're going to look at the Cronova Wireless Smart Projector with Android built-in and has a built-in battery for portability. So this is the Cronova A9 projector. It comes with a remote HDMI cord, the charging pack to recharge the battery, or you can leave it plugged in at all times, user guide, um, all in a conveniently small box that actually doesn't have Cronova's name on it for some reason, but the projector clearly shows what who makes the projector. Um, this is my second projector by Cronova. These, this one, as you can see, is extremely small, fits into my hand. Um, so really portable. I, the previous Cronova that I had, I had to, it was a big projector, and I would bring it outside to play um, movies and stuff on it via Plex, and it just wasn't practical. This one here, though, is really nice. It has a micro SD card slot, which I'm having a hard time. There it goes. Uh, micro SD card slot, USB, auto the, the focus tab, another USB port, the charging port, HDMI, headphones, has built-in speaker right there, and the cooler fan right there. We're going to go ahead and power this baby up and actually use it in my movie theater and see how it performs. All right, so now that I've got the Cronova set up, um, I do have a 150 inch screen. It is rated at a 100 inch screen. So I'm gonna do this initial part and then I'll go ahead and put it down to 100 inches, the screen size, so that we can determine quality uh, versus the size of the screen going over what the manufacturer actually recommends. Um, I do have a couple windows open at the moment. Uh, not windows, a uh, couple blinds open. So there is some natural light coming in at the moment. We're going to go ahead and power the unit up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and watch a couple copyright free YouTube videos. I also put Plex on here. And we'll just go through some channels real quick without actually watching the channel so that I can actually post this video because they won't let us post if we uh, record copyright content for more than usually about five seconds. One thing I did notice so far, the remote doesn't have great distance on it. Uh, it's decent, but um, it could be better. Um, these are the preloaded apps on here. I have not done anything to the device to actually change the applications or where they're placed. So it does come preloaded with YouTube, Netflix comes uh, preloaded to hook up your HDMI cord to your phone or iOS mirror. Um, today, we're just gonna look at two things. We're gonna look at just the YouTube option with a copyright free video, which I did turn this on already and set up my um, Google Play account so I could actually download the Plex app because that was not on here initially. It did take a couple tries. Uh, you got to first set up your Wi-Fi. Uh, clearly I was missing a step. <laughs> uh, once I was done with that though, it was good to go. So we're just going to go a copyright free video right here and we're going to go to the first one right here. This is Corona Heart Seltzer. Zero grams carbs, zero grams sugars, 90 calories. Enjoy any size fresh brewed iced coffee for $2. Crafted to crave. Gotta have a Wawa. As you can see, the video quality, um, pretty nice. And that's, uh, the speakers on this little box are not bad at all. Um, let me go ahead and zoom forward here a little bit. Now this clearly does not have any audio, but as you can see on a 150 inch screen, it is pretty sharp. Um, it's not the brightest, but once again, it's a portable handheld projector. It's not a home theater projector. Um, can you use it for a home theater? Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, with the blinds open, you know, there's light coming in and it's still bright enough to see during the day. And like I said, at nighttime, it's really sharp and it's plenty bright at night. 
Uh, the unit, as you can hear, is extremely quiet. So we're going to go ahead and pull up another video. Let's see if we can find one with audio on the copyright videos. Um, let's see if this one has audio. Yeah, these copyright free videos, for some reason, this one has no audio as well. Let's try this one. And it's pretty snappy, the device. Um, not any lag, as you can see, opening the YouTube videos. It's, it's quick. All right, there's no audios on the copyright free stuff. So let's go ahead and go over to Plex, which is the only app that I installed. Under apps, you also have these apps that are included, except for the Plex app. And let me just put in my code here real quick. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna open Fox 13 for a second here so you could see it load up. Um, Plex does take a moment to load. That's normal on any device. Masks and temperature screenings, restricted access and visitation, COVID and testing the volume. for patients and isolated units for COVID care because your safety is always our top priority. And go to another one here real quick. We could pull this up for just a few seconds. blend into its surroundings like the type and then let's go to the guide and we can pull up um, some local broadcast content which is not copyright uh, infringement but is extremely boring um, I don't even know if I actually have it in here anymore no I took it out because I think this one is copyright free which is the um, some kind of church network TV. Have you ever lost a coin and you search both high and low? Upstairs, downstairs, all around, we're under up to that coin go. It's on your mind so much, then you find it on and the ground. Got HD TV real quick. And as you can see, it runs smooth. Um, sorry, I can't watch more of that stuff. I just uh, got to be able to keep it under the five seconds to post the video. Um, but like I said, there are other apps on here, like Aptoy TV, um, which I actually didn't even check out. Let's see what, what this is all about. See if we have to set up an account. I know what Aptoy is, but I've never seen Aptoy TV. Okay, so it just has some different things in there. Um, yeah, interesting. You can go through that if you'd like. Uh, but uh, pretty much this is the projector. The battery life is great on it. Um, I've used it for about an hour now total, just tinkering with it, setting up my account, setting up the Wi-Fi. And I'm down to two bars out of four, so 50%. Wi-Fi signal, very strong in here, but as you can see directly in front of us is my ASUS router. Um, overall, for the price point and portability, it's a great device. Definitely if you're on the go and you need something or if you're camping um, or even if you're just going to like a hotel that has their crappy TVs, 
Uh, you can bring your own TV and have a gigantic screen. Like I said, this is 150 inch. This is 50 inches over what the manufacturer uh, recommends, but it's clear, it's sharp, it looks nice. Uh, you go smaller picture, you're gonna get even, even sharper picture. Uh, and I will show that right now, just so you can see if you see a visual difference or not. All right, so this is at 100 inches. And got a couple commercials here. A couple advertisements. And this copyright free video actually has audio, so we can watch it and check out how it plays. Well, it looks like this one is just audio only and picture. That's why it has, uh, that's why it's copyright free. All right, well, this has been Jason with Four Minute Tech Review, and this is the Cronova handheld smart Wi-Fi uh, projector where you can cast your device to it, plug smart devices into it. Um, as you can hear, the speakers work great. It's sharp, and for the price point, not a bad device. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me.